Here! Free sample! Oh no, I really couldn't. Hey guys, it's Ash here with Watch Mojo, and these are the top 10 most censored Yu-Gi-Oh! GX moments. Now return to me as damage, and it's a lot more than this old heart of mine can handle. For this list, we'll be looking at the scenes four kids either cut or watered down in this Duel Monsters sequel. Do you prefer the dub or the sub? Let us know in those comments below. Number 10, Sent to the Stars. The original Yu-Gi-Oh! series was notorious back in the day for changing pretty much every death that occurred to the person being sent to the completely made up Shadow Realm. This term would spill over into GX for the two Shadow Duelist episodes featuring the battle against Titan. This duel shall now continue in the Shadow Realm. Later in the series, however, the show would take on the brand new term, Sent to the Stars, for whenever a duelist would lose a death game. Now if that kid duels and loses, he'll get sent to the stars like that last guy. And that can't happen, whoa! We're not exactly sure what Sent to the Stars means, but we're sure any duelist would rather that than death itself. I wish I could, but first I have to figure out a way to win without attacking. Because if I do, then my friends will get sent to the stars. Number 9, Dealcoholized Deck. When Chumley Huffington's father arrives at the Duel Academy with the intention to pull his son out of the curriculum and help run his family business, the two face off in a duel. In the original Japanese version, Mr. Huffington is the owner of a sake company, which means his deck is obviously alcohol themed with drunken monsters. Ah! <laughs> The four kids dub threw all this out of the window, with his company being changed to a hot sauce one with all the bottles painted red and his monsters dumbed down to being dizzy. Just a little bit more hot sauce, you can handle it. We're not sure how hot sauce makes you dizzy exactly. Number 8, Dr. M.I.A. In episode 97 titled The Dark Light, Jaden and the gang watch a pro league clash between the duelists Dr. Collector and the champion known as The D. The conclusion to this duel is notable due to the fact that the loser, Dr. Collector, is burned to death due to a fire caused by the Ultimate Destiny card. In the four kids version, however, the death is taken out entirely, and his missing body goes completely unexplained. Hey, what have you done? Tell me. <laughs> Number seven, Gravekeeper's Doom. The Gravekeeper's archetype has always been a fun one to play in the TCG, so it was especially great to see them get some love in this episode of GX. During a trip to the ancient ruins on the island, the gang are transported to another world, which leads to Jaden dueling the Gravekeeper's chief with grave consequences. In the original, had Jaden lost, he would have been turned into a mummy. In the English version, this was changed to the loser being buried alive. But if you don't, you will be punished. You will be buried alive. <laughs> We'll let you decide which of the two is worse. Fret not, you won't hear your friend's screams when they're muffled by the buried earth. <laughs> Number six, look both ways before dueling. Whilst dueling Jaden, Thelonious Viper tells him about his heartbreaking past involving his son, Pierce. After rescuing him from a war zone as a baby, Thelonious adopts Pierce and later gives him his very own deck of Duel Monsters cards. Unfortunately, the wind blows the cards onto the road, and whilst trying to recover them, Pierce is hit by a bus and killed. <laughs> The four kids vision omits this last part entirely, instead telling us that he became very ill. The funniest thing about this is that both his death and following censorship are almost identical to Noah Kaiba's in the original series. Oh, oh no! And soon the winds of fate changed too, and my son became very ill. Number 5, The Light of Destruction or Brainwashing. The Light of Destruction is a malevolent entity that serves as a major antagonist in Yu-Gi-Oh! GX. <laughs> in 
Its sole goal is to wipe out all life in the universe, possessing various duelists and getting them to use a life-destroying satellite. <laughs> According to 4Kids, this was a little bit too much, and so they dumbed down its ambitions entirely. Instead, in the dub, the Light of Destruction wants to dominate all of humanity, brainwashing them with the satellite and forcing them to worship it. It also claims that without this, humanity will destroy itself. None of this makes any sense if you actually consider what this entity is actually called. Once it starts, the satellite can't be stopped. Number 4. Mr. Phoenix's Final Destiny the father of fan favorite Asta Phoenix, Mr. Phoenix was a Duel Monsters card designer known for creating the Destiny heroes. Appearing only in flashbacks, we are shown that Mr. Phoenix met his end when the Light of Destruction influenced the criminal known as the D to murder him whilst trying to seal the Destiny Hero Plasma card. Asta unfortunately finds his father dead in the ground surrounded by cards. Oh, in the English dub, Mr. Phoenix's fate is toned down considerably. Instead, he's somehow kidnapped along with the cart, with his body digitally removed when Asta goes into the room. They must have broken in. And now, he's gone. Number 3. Swimsuit Bathing in the third episode of GX, Dr. Crowler's scheme against Jaden ends up resulting in Cyrus trespassing in the girl's dorm. In one scene, we see Alexis, Jasmine, and Mindy bathing together in the school's public bath. In an often used anime trope, the girls are discussing breast sizes. <laughs> <laughs> in the 4Kids version, this discussion is cut out entirely, and each of the girls have a digitally added on swimsuit to cover them up. Actually, I thought it was kind of cool. Hmm. What? This visual edit especially makes no sense when the very next scene they're shown to be without them when they catch Cyrus. Let go, please! Huh? Not until you tell us why you're here, and it better be good. Number 2. Zane's Last Beat Throughout the series, we're told of Zane Truesdale's worsening heart condition. It's later revealed that this is due to the cards within his Cyberdark deck having an intense desire to win, leading the heart condition to be fatal. This all comes to a head in his duel against Yubel, where, after losing to them, he finally succumbs to it in an incredibly sad and dramatic fashion. In the English version, while it still exists, his heart condition is played down immensely and is never mentioned to be fatal. Instead of dying, he is, as we mentioned earlier in this list, sent to the stars. Hey Cyrus, I'm proud of you, and I always will be. No, Zane! Ah! Zane's death is made even worse in the dub due to the fact that his triumphant return was never broadcasted. Hi, Nisa. How are you? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure to go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Yubel The main antagonist of the Dimension World arc, Yubel is an incredibly important character in the series who has a deep connection with our hero Jaden and eventually turns over a new leaf. Yuvel's appearance takes on both masculine and feminine traits, something you wouldn't see as much if you watched the dub as four kids covered them up to make it less obvious. When Yuvel first appears in the series, they would occasionally use a masculine voice from time to time. <laughs> The dub, however, omitted this entirely, solely using a feminine voice throughout the series. Ah, what was that? Are you mocking me? Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.